Oh, hello! Fancy seeing you here! Welcome back to Summer of Place Slay the Spire. Some challenging dailies. Now, yesterday wasn't the great because we, we lost 200 points in the end there. So, I mean, 200 is still fine, but it's not amazing. Today, we need a clean 1000 points for front page. That's pretty harsh. Especially with your starting deck, is Chimera is kind of fun. Colorless cards is amazing. Careless. At the start of every turn, discard the top card from your draw pile. Could work. Probably won't. I mean, I don't know if there's a chance this works out. Survivor Zap Bash is what we got. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, we always get Bash and I probably always Zap and then here's Neutralize or Survivor. Maybe it's always the same, I'm not sure. Uh, two elites there. There's a third elite up there and a lots of question marks. That seems like a good way to go Okay, block so we take in no damage and then zap and hit you with a strike I want to kill this one first because we'll strength up here There's a strike Hit him with a zap. He's on one And there you go Let's see. No colorless card, that's unfortunate. Now, there's many cards that could happen here. Evolve is amazing if we fight against the shapes as a first floor elite. We, I mean, I'm not sure if we can get a deck going where we put status cards in ourselves. It can work. Probably a bit too hard to get there. Body Slam together with strong blocks, if we can upgrade it fast, is really good. Shockwave is also kind of run uh, get fight winning that's why I take it oh power is immediately upgraded that's nice I'm doing nine damage rather than zap because I hope that in the next two turns we can kill it I'm not gonna shockwave even though if I shockwave now it would take no damage let's see if this worked out it did Lucky ass. I mean, the b best thing about Chimera is uh, starting with that low amount of cards in our deck. Can I take Rage? I think Rage is the highest upside of be potentially being really, really good. The upgrade is 4 block, right? No, 5 block. That's pretty good. I mean, Carnage is probably better early on. It's almost certainly better early on. Oh no, I kind of want to pick Rage. I find Rage the more interesting card. Free block. I mean, if we have an attack, it's 5 block for free if we upgrade it. That's good. If we have 2 attacks, that's 10 block for free. That's amazing. So I'm saying. The thing is, we only have 3 attacks so far. So, Rage... I think Rage might be cooler, but... In the situation we were in, I think we took the right decision here. I mean, this is pretty good. I see Shockwave doing amazing work. And then we hit him with a Carnage. Because Carnage put the card from your hand at the bottom of a draw pile. Hmm. This would have been good if we could went for the status route. I think I'm taking Flex here. Now, going to the shop is our way of doing this. No, Intimidate. Rupture, whenever you lose HP from a card, you gain one strength. So far, we don't have anything that loses HP, but maybe we can get there. And I mean, if, if our plan is taking curses, if we get a pain, Rupture is amazing for us. I mean, the alternative is buying Dramatic Entrance, what I'm thinking here. Or Ghostly Armor. Actually, I can't, no, I can't buy a Ghostly Armor still. I don't think Intimidate is worth it. Okay, I'm buying Rupture. So far it does nothing. But I think it can be strong enough later on. I'm gonna want to wait for Shockwave. There it is. And then next turn we, we get there. Give me something good. That is really good. That's an amazing start. Getting him for that's 40 damage dealt in the first turn. Let's see. Eight. 
13 and we still get a hit in there. Now is it taken for 18 sadly because the vulnerable runs out. Oh, this is 18 block. Are we going for the perfect? Yeah, we are. I'm not gonna kid you. Okay. Flex, bash, strike. Let's see. I need. I can't get 18 block with 3 cards now, so I have to kill it. And it's possible. Okay. Pair is nice. 5 block for free. Like, rage would have been better, I think. Now the question is, do I want thunderclap? In case we're fighting against the shapes here or here. It's not a... I'm not sure this is the right decision. Give me a curse. Okay. We'll remove a strike. Still worth it. We're fighting the shapes. I mean, blocking here is not worth it. And we will the fight will be long enough so that the lightning orb will deal a lot of incidental damage in there. No, this time I'm blocking. I don't think bash is a good decision. But we could have bashed for 8 on the sentry, but... Another strike. I only have one strike in this deck, though. Thunderclap Carnage kills this guy, right? Ah, oh, I was hoping for the strike to hit there. Still, that's worth it. I mean, Carnage is proven to be the right decision. I'm playing... That's the best damage we can do. 10 damage this turn. It's doable. Finally, we didn't discard the Shockwave. Okay, it's already over. And there's nothing we can draw that helps us. Kill it with Carnage. So, I'm happy that we took the Carnage now. I like Armaments a lot, but I think I'm taking the Finesse. Am I? Yeah, I'm taking the Finesse. Surforming Clay. Hopefully, won't matter much because we don't want to take any damage. This is interesting. I feel like... Two more weak and two more vulnerable is really good. Other than that, I want to upgrade these. I want to upgrade the zap. Carnage also gets quite a bit of damage increased, right? We 12, uh, 20 to 28. That's 8 damage. That's not bad. Drizzle Bracer is fine. That's actually really good. Because Champion Belt is really good on... Thunderclap applies one week and Shockwave is an additional week and Regret is fine because it gives us strength up. Only one. Pain, I mean with Rupture, Pain is actually the better one, but... Okay, we can weaken, we can Carnage. Let's take this, try to kill him real fast. He's at 18. I don't think we can do this, but I'm trying. No, wait, wait. We can do this. It was worth it. Carnage and Bash upgrade is also pretty nice. Am I gonna do it? All we need now is pain. I mean, it's... I'm not sure taking, taking this without any self-damaging cards is a good idea. I mean, we, we'll get a strength up here. Oh, yeah, we will. And it actually works really well with self and Clay. If we get Pain now, that would be amazing. Because every time we play a card, we gain one strength, or two strength, and three block the following turn. Just imagine that. I actually think Thunderclap is really good with Champion Belt. Because then it's only uh, also one week on everything. Do I want Zap? Be free, witness. Um, I think Zap being free is always nice. It's nice to have. Let's see. Flex. No, I should have played Thunderclap first. And we got our curse without having Rampage going. That's unfortunate. 
And also it's too early to shockwave. Oh, thank god he didn't. He's not splitting. Should have probably... That's very bad for us. The split... On, well, after we hit him to 71, the split on 62 is not what we want to see. Now, I would like to play this, but then I can't play Carnage, and Carnage is more important. So what I'm going to do is try to get that slime down as fast as possible, as far as possible. 26 attack, a. Eh? Okay. We have no block. So there's literally nothing we can do, and we lose the perfect. It hurts. Deep down inside. And we gain two strength up off the regret. And now this is, this is an unfortunate split again. Oh. Maybe not though. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh right, I have the orb to get in. I was just thinking it would survive. Now, Panache is fun, but Offering is self-damaging and card draw. So Offering works really well with our two Rampages. Transform all strikes and defense. That would be five cards. You can no longer smith at rest sites. It's a huge downgrade. Uh, if it were, you know, could long, can no longer heal at rest sites, it would probably take it. But you can no longer smith at rest sites, it's unfortunate. Like, choosing at five cards is not what I want to see. Do I want the fourth energy as this much? Or can I transform these? Strikes and defense? I mean, this is basically our only block, we need defensive cards. So, you know what, I think we have to do the orrery. We'll see. I'm, I'm checking all of these first. Probably the shrugged off there. I have <coughs> three cards that can be made cheaper with Enlightenment. Though Sadistic Nature is really good here. Corruption I don't think is what we want. Because we have two of these and this and this and they we, they apply two things. So it's eight additional damage. I think Adam is doing Sadistic Nature here. Some block, some block and these two I'm probably skipping. Yeah. Increasing our block a bit is fine. I want more curses though. One elite. There's a second one up here. So we go here, question mark. Elite. I guess rest question mark. Move up here to that second elite. It's not amazing, but that's the way we're doing it. Finesse, Rupture, Flex. Let's shrug a second Rupture, okay. It only reduces one artifact because it only applies to the weak when you apply the vulnerable. So... I'm taking the two damage of Regret because two strength for two damage is certainly worth it. more strength. Did you see that? Oh, I'm happy I took the... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Armaments is gonna be our next upgrade, I guess. I have to be careful not taking too many defensive cards. The champion belt together with the... What's the power I took? Sadistic nature. It's great in this deck. Like, do I take a strength up? You know what, I'm gonna discard the regret this time.
kill you. I could do this. That would do 12 damage to both. I mean, that's not the right target to kill. Okay, now we go for a kill. I'm taking another finesse for sure. Remove a card. Is a shop coming up? There's a shop coming up. So I probably don't want to do that. I'm going to do it still. I'm going to remove a defend this time. Because... I just bought uh, the armaments, and armaments is a very good replacement for defend. Let's see, this is 45, right? So we get this one close to death. There's sadistic nature. Hit and hit. This is. I'm very excited, and then sadistic nature champion build run we are having right here draw five cards I guess we drawn five cards then look at the damage sadistic nature actually amazing you know what this is four damage with sadistic nature and some weak it, if this were vulnerable, it would be better because it would also apply weak. Maybe I want body slam instead. Maybe I want to skip it. I think our deck is nice as it is. I'm gonna skip it. The Talosize is great. It's second sadistic nature though. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Now true grid is also... Okay. Let's see if we can actually do this sadistic nature. I don't want to get rid of Carnage. We are taking some damage here. Okay, I could have... I could have used the block portion as not to take damage. Might have been the smarter move. That kills you because of our sadistic nature. Oh, we go rupture strength up. Sixteen additional damage from that. I mean, that is amazing. This just kills both the dudes. Oh, goodness, this is beautiful. I should have used the block potion to get the per perfect there. Weakness is not really what I want to see, but maybe I'm still taking it. The thing is, if I don't take it, we have quite a few cards that exhaust, and then I want to get as many thunderclaps as possible. It's by far the best one with the sadistic natures we got. So maybe I don't want to take the close line. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm taking the close line. I will smith... I normally would say smith the true grid. I'm smithing the armaments first. True grid is still a fine card. We got a curse. It's not a damaging curse. But it's immediately offset with this. Like, the innate curse is unfortunate because our first hand has one additional curse. But now it has two additional cards, so... Certainly worth it. Let's see. Uh, bash, Carnage, Strike. Gotta be careful about my HP. I mean, losing six every turn, so this is basically non-existent. I'm gonna get rid of Regret here. Oh god, this is very, very bad. Okay, we got the kill. I'm skipping again. Shop. Power? You know what, in case this might help us against the boss fight. 
Because so far I'm not really that confident here. Come on, give me the other sadistic nature. Give me the other sadistic nature. Give me the other sadistic nature. No. Uh, 21, that's 21 block. And then we can thunderclap. Oh, right, I didn't need that much block. Nice, we still needed some blocks, so that's fine. Not block portion, it's not worth it. This is a lot of damage we're taking there, but block portion is still not worth it. I need to take three more damage, I just realized. That's three more damage, very good. Now the meat of the bone is, is online. There we go. Fiend fire? No, bro, I mean, maybe? Burn away the useless cards. A second armaments? I don't think we need those. Let's see if we can do something against the Book of Stabbing. Now, I'm doing it like this with the block portion to try to get a perfect. Is this is a, might be a waste of the block portion. I'm not sure. Okay, it's offering this. There's armament struggle off, that's 18 block. I would have liked some attacks because now we probably won't get the blocks since we drew all of them last turn. That's unfortunate and we don't have enough block, which means we... And it's not enough damage either. Damn it! No perfect on this fight. I mean this is... That alone is good enough. I'm loving this. Purity is good, actually. Now we can purity away Wraith or something like this. We do have True Grit for that, though. Do I want the Headbutt to bring bad Thunderclaps? An absence of our ability... Uh, like, if we had... I would prefer another Thunderclap over the Headbutt. Guaranteed. Finesse. Oof. Did you see how beautiful that was? I, I, this is actually, I always found Sadistic Nature interesting, but this is actually a good Sadistic Nature deck. And for that I'm thankful. I mean, we're a bit unfortunate with, why am I playing these? Why am I not playing this? There you go. Flame Barrier is really good, but Shrug it off, pre-upgraded is better. Now I'm upgrading this. Because being able to target what card we exhaust is a huge boon. Let's see, give me... Barricade is a nice one to have. I am not gonna lie. I don't want to get rid of Carnage, so I have to decide do I get rid of a, a artifact and play Carnage or do I store up 8 block already? I don't think we need to store up 8 block. We had lots of attacks here, we'll probably draw some non-attacks here. I guess I'm wrong. If I stored up 8 block, I still wouldn't have had enough. Yeah, that is... Oh, but we could have played Headbutt before drawing a card. Yeah, okay, I screwed it up. My bad. Yeah, that's my bad. We could have we could have perfected this, but instead we didn't. Ah, I can see why a thousand points might be hard to get. We're not doing so good. I mean, at least this was some strength up, and we still barricade going. So that's probably the only damage we're taking. Give me more strength. Five strength now. It's pretty nice. Sadistic natures are both ready. So we can do this.
Yeah, we're getting there. Should have played Bash. And we took some more damage. Thankfully already lost the perfect, so that's, that's not too bad. Okay, right. Right. I thought I still had the Thunderclaps in here. No Wright can get out of the way. Regret will be our strength scaling for now. Where, what's what's with our damage? I mean, we can put you vulnerable, 24 block. So we can hit you with that. Do I want to exhaust regret? No. No. Continue ramping up our strength, please. Should be able to... Yeah, we will be able to kill him now. Not the most beautiful. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going all in. Oh, yes, give me curses. None of these are damage. This is the one time I want pain and you're not giving me pain. I have two ramp. I have two, what is this? It's rampage, right? No, two ruptures. Just give me give me a pain. Do I have five curses by now? One, two, three, four, five. That's 100 points for us at least. One elite. Is there a second? There's... Okay, so we only can have one elite. I probably want... Do I want to end on the question mark route? Maybe the upgrade route instead? Hmm. The late shop seems nice. So we're going this way. Did I ha get there's a thunderclap here? So I'm taking that back. Plain shrug it off. Thunderclap. Hit you big time with that sadistic nature. Hmm. Oh my goodness! That's a lot of damage. We can double the dual wield sadistic natures. Is that what we're gonna do? Oh no. Oh no. Like I, I lost the, the perfects and we we don't have that many points. I think I'm in full on Let's have some fun mode. Carnish wouldn't get a kill. I'm thinking... Ghostly armor and shrug it off. And I guess get rid of Carnage, even though it's our best attack. Not for long. We play a few sadistic natures and then... Thunderclaps are our best attack. Hell yeah. Too weak? Ah, we're not doing damage with our attacks anyways. We're doing them with uh, sadistic natures. Give me two more sadistic natures, please. That's just blocks. Oh no, there's a strike in there. Okay. There's another one. I can headbutt. Shrug it off. 24 dam bonus damage for playing that one. And it and it puts the status that we're like weak on there still. That's just... That's just not good. They're both... Okay, I still need... That's fine. A single thunderclap and they're dead. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. I love it. Deep breath is never bad or in the way. Three colorless cards. Are we gonna lift the dream and get a fourth one? Eh, flash of steel. All of these are fine. Obtain a rare relic. You can no longer heal, but upgrade all cards. I mean, upgrading all cards is really, really good. Don't get me wrong, you can no longer heal is 
bad though. So we're fighting the boss from Act 1. Let's see. We do a wielding the sadistic nature and then rupture, rupture, nature, nature, finesse. Deep breath. Hit you with thunderclap, 16 bonus damage, and then with a strike, one. That's pretty epic music, by the way. No, should have played that first. Could have had even more, one additional nature with that. I don't think I need the strength stalling here. We have 16 damage from sadistic natures. One block off, eh? Hell no, that's not gonna happen on my watch. I don't think we can get perfects here though, so maybe that's a bad thing I'm doing here. I'm playing elements first. Finesse. I can headbutt a thunderclap. Wait, draw it with this. Hit you with that, and I guess deep breath. That's the last sadistic nature, so 20 is the most we can do. Do I have a thunderclap in here? I have a deep breath in there. Okay, I need a th single thunderclap to get the kill because it will deal 40 additional damage. I want to see that happen. <laughs> Trip is almost good enough. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Okay. Dead branch. I don't think I'm taking any of these. Our deck is already way too thick for a. I mean, we do have. Okay. Rupture. Deep breath. That's a sadistic nature. Which means we can kill one of these. Put deep breath back on top. Oh right, dead branch. Oh, there's a thunderclap here. Exactly what I want to see. Okay, finesse. Defend, thunderclap. We're taking damage if I thunderclap again. So I think instead I'm disarming here. It at least deals 4 damage still because it's still a debuff. There we go. That's the kill. I love it. A single battle trance is good in every deck. Every single one. Now, add two copies of that card into your hand is great. Too vulnerable to all enemies is really good. Who are we fighting against? Upgrade dual wield. In case we get it, I'm gonna dual wield. Oh god. Do we really draw all the... All the curses we had. It's gonna hurt, but also... Whew! Armaments. Sadistic nature. Magnetism. Okay, make you vulnerable. Hit you with that. I'm gonna play survive. I get rid of deep breath. True grit. Exhaust the strike. Okay. 
We're still taking some damage. 10 damage every turn makes, makes this a race, and that's pretty unfortunate, I think. Now, this is fine by me. We're taking 10. ID took a lot more. And we will get the bonus healing of meat on the bone. Okay, what do I want here? Let's get the battle trance. Sadistic nature, zap, deep breath. Finesse. Carnage. 13 damage. I mean, we can kill him with a fire potion and that. We have our uh, elite coming up though. Oh, I can't try any more cards, right? I'd rather take 4 damage and keep the fire potion for later. And there we go. We probably take too long to set up our stuff, but if it works, it works, and that's the beauty of it. Problem is, we can't prevent us from taking any more damage here. Twas the 12 block is all we got, and they are taken for 14. And let's start with finesse. I like the shockwave a lot. Hit you, hit you. Now, do I want 6 block? I think I'd rather take the damage and do the damage. Because again, now meat on the bone is online, and that damage was basically free. Now this might be too much damage, so we'll block instead. Oh, get yourself ready for when I draw anything that puts vulnerable on you. You're gonna be so screwed. Not like this, though. Come on! Just kill it. Fine. Put another deep breath in here. Both are great, because I've got five curses already. I can do this, and then we can get cursed. Taking flex and then deep breathing. Draw another card. Thunderclap will make you weak and block nine damage basically. Okay. That was it. quite good. Starting with the offering. Because we can get draw the double up for this one. Okay, we don't. So I'm getting Sadistic Nature, Trip. That one, True Grit the Defend. Get, now we get the double up. It's too late though. It's Battle Trance. There's another Sadistic Nature. I want to get rid of this, and this, and this. See what three cards we get. Armaments to upgrade bloodletting. Bloodletting? I don't want to take any damage though. So I guess I will not take any damage. We'll do this. For the thunderclap. Keep that in there. We can't draw cards because of the blade dance. All oh, right, we got it back with headbutt. Can we? I think keeping the weakness potion is better. We put it back with headbutt, but we of course we have the freaking careless. 
So Kalos is actually screwing us up big time. This is this is too much damage. It's still way too much. Ah, it's five. Never mind. Took quite a bit of. Look at the bash. It single-handedly will deal enough damage. Almost. Okay. That was very sketchy. And that made its headbutt a lot worse. So we're not taking it. No. Because I'm moving towards the shop. We can heal and not become cursed. Okay, that's very good. We needed that healing. Oh my god, Sundial with three deep breaths? That's amazing. And then we can finish up on this. Would have bought another one, but we're five gold short. Okay, let's offering to make sure that we... Oh, yes. just realized I've taken another point of damage. I thought we didn't, but of course, I then I decided to attack the one with the most HP, but he was the one who dealt reflect damage. Okay. And we will upgrade one last card. Probably one of the deep breaths. Make him draw two. Deep breath will be our engine with and uh, the sundial. Okay, the question is... 15. We need some more block. Or we draw some more cards. Come on, give me block! This is stop! I mean, none of these are giving me blocks, so I, I just want to draw... Okay. I can have one attack. Or one card still. Okay. We end on 8 energy. I think we could have almost gone infinite with the sundial there. That's amazing. Right, it gets shuffled in. Okay, Sundial is really, really good. Okay, let's play it. Shrug it off. Shrug it off. Battle Trance. Armaments, it's 24, that's 30 something. 36 plus 8, that's 44. Did I? I wasted the block portion. I didn't think that we could weaken him. But of course we could. And now... Also we can only do one attack. That's not good. I'm, we might not be able to kill him. I want a shockwave. I think I'd rather transmutation like this. Okay. Nine, ten, eleven, and I can put a zero cost skill in my hand and finesse. That's twelve. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Against two strength? I didn't even see that. I mean, we're not doing any damage. Finally, another sadistic nature.
Why did I? Okay. What the hell was that? Like, that, that whole turn was a complete screw up. From beginning to end, it was a catastrophe. We're taking too much damage, he's at plus 8 strength already and we are down to 30 HP. Putting something on top doesn't even help. Headbutt is useless with this. Okay, now he's healing up. Okay, halfway there. Let's see. Start with a deep breath. It's good enough for a mind plus. I want to make him vulnerable first. It's not going to happen. Nine. 10, 11 clashes, probably not gonna happen either. We are down to 11 HP, okay. Good start, 27. We can get enough block, I think. Now, do I want a thunderclap to do some damage and then block with survivor? That's 22. He's getting, no, he's getting no strength. That's enough. We have to do damage. Hit me for five, doing that much damage instead is fine. We have to kill him now. It's not gonna happen. If I had more energy I could duel with the thunderclap, but I don't. Like we don't have enough block. Damn it. Ugh. That was a cute deck, I liked it. We just, I think we have put too many cards in. Like, in the middle. Too many utility block cards. Like, the headbutt was completely useless. We didn't need that. The, the deep breath were completely fine. Maybe we didn't put too many cards in. Maybe it was just that the Time Lord screwed us up. I think all the other bosses would have been... Dono and Decker, I think we could have crushed. Because our best attacks are the Thunderclaps. And they do damage to both. And we could have AoE'd them down. And we could have do, done the deep breath loops with, with Sundial, but because we fought against the Time Lord, it didn't, didn't work that way. He got too, too much strength too fast. Now, if we beat the boss, how much points does the, does the winning the game give us? I think 150 or something. So we were kind of close to front page if we beat it. We didn't, so we're probably ki quite far away from the front page. Closer than I thought. 300 something? That's a lot closer than I thought, to be honest. Well, so in the end, the result wasn't great. I had a lot of fun, though, and it was the first time we really had a deck where, like, I always found Sadistic Nature to be great. So far, the only ways I could found that to really use it was with Noxious Fumes and just do the damage once every turn, and then maybe on, on some other silent cards you could like weaken and stuff but that was beautiful with all the sadistic nature and then playing a thunderclap and then the relic makes it apply two different things and then sadistic nature triggers twice on everything i liked it i hope you guys enjoyed it as well thank you for watching i'll see you in the next episode